We all want to return to the way things were before COVID-19. By the next pandemic, I believe we can have what I call mega testing diagnostic platforms. They can be deployed quickly, cost very little, and test 20% of the entire population every week. I also think that we'll develop new vaccines quickly, in large part due to this new mRNA platform. To stop future pandemics quickly, we need to be able to spot disease outbreaks as soon as they happen anywhere in the world. Then we need a group of infectious disease responders to spring into action. Think of these as like pandemic firefighters. Stopping the next pandemic will require a big investment, but I think of this as the best insurance policy the world could buy. We have to do two things at once. We have to bring this epidemic to the to an end, uh, primarily by getting the vaccine out in large numbers to the entire world. And we have to make sure that we're ready uh, because there will be another pandemic. And there's so many lessons about uh, how we weren't prepared, how we should have handled things differently. And you know, when that's clearly in our mind, uh, those investments need to be made. Nobody would have predicted that I and Dr. Fauci would be so prominent in you know, really kind of evil theories about, you know, did we create the pandemic? Are we trying to profit from it? And on and on. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm very surprised by that. I hope it goes away. We're gonna have to get educated about this over the next year and understand, you know, what, how does it change people's behavior? How should we have minimized this, either, you know, working with the social media companies or explaining what we were up to in a better way? You can look at people who are normally um, anti-vaxxers, who are very, you know, cautious of pharmaceutical companies. And once they start following the breadcrumbs of social media, all of a sudden they're believing in these conspiracies that Bill Gates is putting, you know, some kind of trackers in the vaccines. And so these are very reasonable people, intelligent people that are um, succumbing to this. We didn't have a group of epidemiologists ready to go. A large epidemic would require us to have hundreds of thousands of workers. The failure to prepare could allow the next epidemic to be dramatically more devastating than Ebola. It didn't get into many urban areas, and that was just luck. Next time, we might not be so lucky. It would spread throughout the world very, very quickly. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic.